All right, I'm out here for my next project. I have to locate this gas main. It's a 12 inch high profile gas main that crosses the road here, Summer. Comes up, rides here. Comes all the way through here. And it goes all the way down there. So I can mark this whole intersection out for the 12 inch. It goes that way, through here, this way. And look, contractors left me barricades so I could do a lane closure. How do you like that, folks? My barricades out there, contractors must have left it for me, knowing that I need to be protected with these crazy drivers out here. So there's my barricades. I can use those barricades through the lane closure, close off this lane. Go hook up. The only hookup spot for this gas main, this critical 12 inch, is way down there, folks. Way down there by that light. That's not the first light, the second light. That's my hookup spot. It's over a quarter mile long. I'm gonna attempt to locate this 12 inch by hooking up way down there. And it's, it's possible to locate it to get the tone traveling from that point all the way down by using a low frequencies. So let's get into the video, let's check it out, let's see how well I do, because if I mismark this gas main, it's all over with, it's the end of me. I'm supposed to have a valve out here. <clears throat> and I wonder where is the valve at? Usually, the prints ain't too bad, but this one here should have been like right in here somewhere. Should be a big valve, you can't miss it. So maybe it's down here. Right over here, look at that. They have fenced in animals here. They got wild coyotes or whatever they got in this place. It's like a prison almost. I was, I'm wondering if that's electrified fence. What's that sign say? Do not feed the beast? Man, there must be some aliens going on over there, folks. All right, and hey, look at this. <laughs> My valve right here, like I said. Can't miss it. So I'm way down here at this intersection, and my locator's way down there, folks. Over a quarter mile, probably a mile, maybe. Way down there. That's my locate. So I'm gonna attempt. There's supposed to be wires in here. I'm gonna attempt to locate off this wire. But what I'm doing, I'm I'm using the lowest frequencies that RD gave me on my box. The lowest frequencies that I have, and it's 320. We're doing 320 hertz on this valve, four bars, and see where our tone could take us all the way that way. If, if the connection from this point all the way to the station is connected right, I should literally, I should be able to locate this main all the way to the station. And the station is about a mile and a half away. So let's get that box, let's hook up, and let, let me show you how it's stuck. All right, I got my stuff. Let's go back over. Oh, I got too much stuff I'm carrying. I forgot one thing. Got one thing, but we'll see if we we'll get it open. valve this is supposed to be right on top of the valve there I don't know if you guys can see it but there's the valve right in there 
Just goes right on top. You climb through. I'll get it when I'm done. <clears throat> what I got? I got two wires down there, so I gotta see which one. Which of these wires, of these wires here, is going that direction? So I'm going to throw this ground rod pretty deep. There should be anything out here, to my knowledge. The only reason I'm pounding this so deep is because I'm locating over a quarter mile from point A to point B. So I want to make sure my tone will travel down this pipeline all the way through out of my extent. That's that'll be the, the only reason why I'm pounding this so deep. And number two, in this area here, I know there's not two, it's not congested with different utilities. We have the street lights and a fiber optic and this main. Fiber optics should be roughly deep. I'm probably down two feet into the ground, 18 inches. So just use common sense. When you go down that deep, you don't want to damage your utility. So if you damage your utility with this, they're going to know that you put a probe through it. They're not. They're not stupid. Don't know. All right, ground out first. My box kind of windy today in Chicago. Do this wire first. I have this alligator clip. This comes really in handy. Links in the description for this alligator clip on Amazon. I'll clip it on. Right here, see it's nice clipped, clip down, and now I can put my my connection my thing right on there. I'm connected. 7 box 320. Three twenty, four bars. I'm on guidance mode. This is guidance mode right here. Saying I'm on guidance mode. That's what I'm using. 14 volts. Resistance 300, 220, 235 for um, milliamps. I was hoping I'll, I'll, I would get like close to 300. Let's turn my receiver on. And 320. 320. Do my sweep. So I'm right here on guidance mode. Four feet, 34 milliamps. Arrows pointing towards the box. I'm on my main right here. And 34, 34 milliamps. Let's see if the other wire I could get more than 34. So uh, 14, it's still the same, 30, 235 on the box, 14 volts. I'm 
Oh, lap under. Lap under. Yeah. I'm 70 million, it's three foot 11. And I'm, I'm over here. So see how the first wire put me over here by the curb. So that's bleed off on the street lights, traffic control box. But now I got 70 milliamps. I'm on this side of the light. Beautiful tone. So that, that's what you gotta watch out for, guys. Bleed off. You know, everything might give you a great tone out here. But if you're on the wrong wire, it's going to bleed, put you off onto a different utility. And that's what it did. I was on the wrong wire in that valve and it put me onto the traffic control lights. I'm on the right wire now going this way and it's putting where the actual main is. And it's right here, folks. So 75 milliamps, you can't beat it. So there's my peak. Right on the money. All right, folks, so the main, we know the main crosses here somewhere. We know it's not at this intersection. We know it's from this point down. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start my sweep right here. So I might have to walk 100 feet, try to get it. And there's one more thing. What, when you do in current direction with these arrows, if the arrow is pointing towards your box, like right now, my box is down, my box is down there. And this arrow is pointing towards my box. It's going this way, this way. So that my box is actually down there. So when an arrow points towards your back box, that means you got bleed off. You're bled out to a different utility. If you're on the right utility, this arrow should point the direction you're locating. So it should point away from your box. Over there, when I was when I was bleeding out to the streetlights, I've got to show you the arrow was pointing towards my box, and that's a sign saying, "Hey, you bled off onto the streetlights." So just remember, you got to follow those arrows. If the arrows point towards your box, you're not on your current. Your the arrow is going where where your current is going. The flow of your current, the arrow should be pointing that direction. Hope that makes sense. So my current direction, and if you guys ain't trained on this, I wouldn't advise you even doing it. You need to get properly trained how to use this. Cause you could bleed on, you know, everything might check out right. And you could bleed on to a different utility and, and this marking a utility if you're not properly trained on it. So, so far, Nothing promising yet. I'm still waiting for a good tone. To stabilize. Now when this starts stabilizing, you're getting, see right now, stabilizing. Now it's staying stabilizing, so I'm getting close to my target. So you see, see before, it was going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, jumping. Now it's not jumping anymore. See, it was jumping, it was jumping right over here. But now I'm getting close to my target because now it's being, it's being more consistent. It's not jumping around. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth, smooth. So you can see how it's nice and smooth now. It's not jumping around. It takes a lot of years experience for this. Days, months, weeks. 40 milliamps, four feet, compass, um, compass straight, arrow pointing away from a box. See, the arrow's pointing backwards. They're saying, they, they're saying that's my current direction. Current direction's going this way, and look what we got here. I'll be damned, hard marks. So right there, here's a telltale sign, folks, I'm on it. I didn't notice the hard marks until now. Amazing. So I completed my sweep. That's the only tone I got was at that spot. 
So just go back there and pinpoint it. And, we'll, and mark it out. It's that simple. It's just a pain in the ass trying to pinpoint it. Make sure you, you find, found your target. So seen right here. Right here. So see how it's turning? Now, to catch my bed, my last tone was here. I could put a dot there. I know it turns. So I'm gonna make my radius backwards. I'll come back to make the radius. So I'm coming this far, catch the straight pipe. There's the straight pipe right here. Put a dot. Put a dot. Now I'm gonna walk it back and catch my radius so it's perfect. I'm gonna dot it out first. Just because the compass turn doesn't mean nothing. You wanna follow your peak and your arrows at this point. Because the compass, because you're closer to that main, so your compass will have to throw you on top of the main. So don't follow the compass when you make your bed. Follow the peak bar and your arrows when you're making your radius. And then see, I go far out to catch my elbow here. So I'm, I'm, I'm way out. I'm gonna catch that 90 right now. Now I'm gonna bring it in on a 45 degree angle. So right here. So you see how, how I'm doing it? I brought this, I bought the 90 on a 45. I'm walking on a 45 degree angle. To catch my 90 here. My outside elbow. Now to catch my straight pipe, I go out here to catch my straight pipe. So just here, and I'm gonna baby step back in to line up with my elbow. See, I'm following my peak bar and my, my null arrows. Baby step it, folks. Baby step, what's the rush? I know production, production, production. People want to make billions of dollars, but I want to make sure this 12 inch gas mains right mark accurately. Because they hit this, it'll cost, it'll cost the company more money than my salary for the whole year if they hit this. So you got to take your time, mark it accurately. So you're dead nuts on, on any utility you mark out, folks. I don't know how to stress any utility. You gotta make sure you're 100%, 110% that you're on before you close out any ticket, any 811. You don't want no catchers getting hurt. You, want, you don't want nobody getting pissed off at you because you miss market utility. And if you have any questions, escalate it. Always escalate it. You know, if I have issues, I'll escalate it back to the utility company. If I had an issue with this bend here, I would escalate it back to the utility company, push the liability back on to our clients. Why should I take the responsibility for it if I can't mark it accurately? So that's, that's how I do it, folks. That's how you do it, to be damage free. You know, watch my videos, folks. Guarantee you follow, you watch my videos, follow my steps. You're going to be damage free for 2025. Don't let nobody push you around. Do one ticket at a time on the 811 side for your private, let's, um, your private locators. Same thing, man. It goes with you. You don't have, you're not rushing as much because you're doing private locates, but you might have two or three on your board to, you know, to do per day. So just make sure you're on. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in a comment. Please share my videos. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And check out my special video, folks. My special video just for you guys, for all my subscribers, everybody that watches my channel, everybody that thumbs it up. This video is for you. Coming up tomorrow.